Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photography and Photoshop Actions. I am going to take you through a little demonstration of my newest exclusive Facebook freebie action set. You can find this at my Facebook page under the exclusive link under my profile picture. And this is called Polish and Protect the Facebook Teeny Edition. And this is going to just kind of give you a preview, of a tiny sampling of the upcoming Polish and Protect uh, full set. It's a very extensive set of uh, everything from storyboards to actions that help you, uh, just like the name says, polish and protect your images for online use. Um, everything from watermarking uh, to uh, resizing and... Uh, branding your images for online, making them look really slick and professional for online display and blog use. And this set here, like I said, is just a tiny sample uh, for, f all, and it's all optimized for Facebook use in this little sample pack. And the first action I am going to test out for you, we are going to run the Facebook resize, and for elements we have Facebook resize uh, horizontal and vertical and doesn't matter on the square picture which one we use so I'm just going to run resize horizontal and this uh, tells me it's going to resize and sharpen uh, for optimum Facebook image enhancement. Uh, we know that Facebook can just do a number to our images if we don't have things uh, set correctly at the right size and um, really uh, make our images look crummy if uh, we don't do things right so this does that for you and it leaves you with a layer here called sharpen it and you can adjust the opacity on your sharpening if you want uh, no sharpening turn it off if you want a lot turn it way up you can also if you're finding uh, some of the spots of the image are too crispy looking like maybe like in here you see the eyes uh, are a little bit too crispy looking you might uh, want to use your layer mask here that's this white box here grab your paintbrush over here and make sure you have black selected and you would just uh, paint over the top of the parts where you found it uh, too sharp so just paint over there and you see on your layer mask over here where I painted in that black area and that masks it out or hides that area of the sharpening layer. And so, so we have that ran, uh, we have the, our image at the right size and it's sharpened and the next thing we might want to do here, we have a lot of different options. Uh, we can run a logo bar for the image and that's just going to place a little uh, color bar at the bottom of your image, the set is, like I said, it's a sampler, so it's just going to kind of show you a little bit of what it can, the regular set's going to be able to do. It's going to put a bar at the bottom of your image, and I'm going to select the mocha color logo bar and run that, and it's telling me it's going to place the, the bar at the bottom of my image, and you can afterwards uh, place your logo or your uh, any kind of text that you want to on the bottom there. And so I'm just going to select my text tool over here. You can also just hit T on your keyboard, and that will select your text tool for you and where you want to start typing there. And I'm just going to write paint the moon, photography, and uh, change my text color to white. And uh, size that down a little bit. And place up right there. And I'd probably not leave it exactly like that, but just for the sake of demonstration, I'll leave it. And another thing you can do afterwards, you can change the opacity on that um, if you want it a little less prominent. Um, maybe that about 60%. And then I am going to run, if you want to, you can round the corners on your images. Um, after you want to do that, if you're going to place a logo bar, you want to do that after you place the logo bar. And I have two different uh, actions in this little sample. One is called Facebook Rounded on Black. One is called Facebook Rounded on White. 
Facebook Rounded on Black is going to round the edges and then place it on a black background so that when you are using Facebook's new theater view, when it pops up the little black window with the black background, you don't have a white uh, edges around the, your rounded corner image. So I am going to do the Facebook Rounded on Black. Here it says it create, creates rounded corners on a black back background for Facebook's new photo viewer. And that's what it'll look like. And so when you are in Facebook's viewer, it will look like that. And you can also, if you choose, uh, do the Facebook rounded on white. And it'll just place the rounded corner image on a white background. And we also have in here, we have a place logo action. Uh, just click that and it'll help you uh, place your logo. If you want to have a logo already created that you want to place down on the logo bar, or if you want to place your watermark somewhere on the image, you can do that with the place logo action. And we also have a few actions that uh, can help protect your images even more. Like I said, you can run the place logo action, place your watermark anywhere you want on the picture, adjust the opacity as you please. And I also have in here a do not copy or save action that just runs a line that says do not copy or save across your image wherever you want to place it, uh, lower the opacity to make it very subtle and barely noticeable, uh, leave it at full opacity to uh, make it really stand out. Do not steal my images. I've had some very bad experiences online with my images being stolen. Uh, some fairly innocent, if you want to call stealing photos innocent, but fairly innocent uses and some not uh, not so savory uh, uses of my daughter's images. And I've gotten to the point where sometimes I felt like I was going to just pull all of my ch children's photos off the internet completely because I got so frustrated with it all and want to do everything in my power to protect my children and protect their images. And so I always, always watermark their images. And this just kind of gives everybody out there um, an option to easily do that as well. I want uh, all of you to be able to protect your images as well. And um, we, we're doing that in two ways here with the set. You are uh, resizing your images first so that nobody can download uh, high resolution copies of your image to use and by watermarking them so that uh, your your name or logo, whatever you want on there, do not copy, is clearly stated on there and uh, much less able to, for uh, people are much less able to use your images when you have it branded all over the place. Uh, it will be noticeable that they stole that image if it is, if it is watermarked as such. So, uh, so we have the do not copy and we have a horizontal and a vertical. Uh, this is a square image so I, this it, we're just going to run it uh, horizontally. The vertical uh, will run uh, so the text goes up and down. And so I'm going to run the horizontal do not copy. And uh, it's going to, because this is a square image, it places it towards the bottom and I have the logo bar on here so it's placing it a little lower than it normally would on a regular horizontal image. So I'm going to hold down my shift key and you can do this if you want to re, uh, uh, place it somewhere else. Hold down the shift key and uh, with your move tool selected and just place it anywhere you want. Um, you can, you know, if you really want somebody to not <laughs> be able to use your image, place it right over faces, you know, make it 100%. If you want it more subtle, bring the opacity down, you know, 46% there and you know, put it somewhere a little less obtrusive and it, it gets the point across without being, uh, without totally ruining the photo and uh, being too obnoxious. So that is the Paint the Moon Polish and Protect Facebook Teeny Edition and I hope it gives you some options for uh, making your images uh, prettier and protecting them at the same time while displaying them all on online. We all like to show off our images online and it's nice to have peace of mind when we are doing so and uh, knowing that our images are protected as well as looking great. Uh, again, you can find this on my Facebook page here. You go to my, here's my profile image and it's Paint the Moon Photography, facebook.com, Paint the Moon Photography. 
and underneath the profile image you can see this third link down is exclusive free and you'll click on that and it will take you to the link to unlock that download with the new Polish and Protect freebie set. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for listening to me ramble. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks.